worth it by Mark. Another episode of Worth It Repairs by Mark. We're doing an iPhone 14 Pro screen replacement. And it turns on and it flickers green here. And it's definitely broken. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. Get that P2 screwdriver out and remove the two bottom screws here. Before we get into the video too much, please stay tuned for today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Cell Helmet, and they gave me this case, the Altitude series for my iPhone 13 mini. Go to the link below and I'll link it. All right, so we aren't gonna use the Apple OEM screen remover. We're gonna do it the old fashioned way with a heating pad. I will link it below for what heating pad I use, and you wanna have it 85 degrees Celsius and heat it up for about 10 minutes, and then it's gonna be too hot to touch, which is just hot enough. Anyways, you get a metal pry tool, and some acetone or alcohol will work to help loosen up the adhesive around the edges and you'll work your way around both edges in here just prying it up lifting it off and just stay tuned for the video and i'll show you how to take it apart just like the iphone 12 and above you open it up from the right to the left and then so the wires are on the other side now anyways and then you'll want to get a y triple zero screwdriver out and unscrew all these screws here. All eight screws and counting. Once you got all the screws removed, you can take out the bracket. We want to disconnect the battery first. That is this connection here. I'm going to use a plastic spudger, the flat end, and stick it down right here. Pry it up. Boom. Got the battery disconnected. So let's move on to the screen. And we'll get the screen disconnected here from the top. And pry that up. Boom. And we got to also get the proximity sensor. Let me move the camera over a little bit so then I can see it. All right. Um, so we will uh, pry it off right here. Boom, got it off. All right, so now we're gonna lay down some adhesive. So we don't want that new screen to fall off or uh, them to have, for, or this customer to have liquid damage at all. We wanna waterproof the phone, so we'll put down the adhesive. We'll just let it sit there and we will take out the proximity sensor. You wanna get a PH000 screwdriver out for the bracket up here. And then, um, <clears throat> To get it off is very difficult. You want to be as careful as possible. I don't know if if you break this part, like all the previous phones, that you'll lose Face ID forever. But I'm not sure. The phone is so new, I have no idea if that will work or not. And then also, you can't program the screens uh, like you can on most of the older, now older phones. Anyways, um, I'm using some acetone, and then I use a plastic spudger and just kind of wiggle back and forth and just keep on prying it as gently as possible. And then applying heat to the proximity sensor will also help loosen up the adhesive to get it off. And it is very difficult, and like I said, I don't know what happens when you break it, but let's try not to do that.
We're going to grab out the new screen we got from MobileCentrics.com. The screen is about like $350 right now. It is pretty expensive. Anyways, uh, we want to lay down the proximity sensor back the way it, we took it off. And then we'll get out the uh, bracket and put the bracket down. And we'll get this thing put together and we will give it a test and then we will fully put it together. And uh, just stay tuned for the video. And I'm sorry, I don't have music right now, rights to any music. So there is no music during this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you think I need to add music. Hey, what? Let's connect the uh, proximity sensor here on the top. It's kind of finicky for me here. I was having a hard time, but it's just all about the angle that you hold it, and you can eventually just connect it on. You can feel it connect. You feel it. You just don't. You don't know it's connected. You feel it connect. So felt it connect. All right, the screen. Boom, got it on right away. And now let's put the battery on and give it a test. It is not powering on. Uh oh. Well, sometimes what I've noticed is when you're doing a screen repair or MacBook repair, plugging it in might turn it on. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And is it going to turn on? Come on. Come on. Yes, it turned on. All right. Plugging in worked. The screen message is definitely still there, but it's still going to be a fully functional screen. So, I'm sorry about the message, but there's nothing you can do about that because Apple just is the worst for making things repairable. Just kidding, they're still repairable. I, I'm repairing it right now, but it's just, we have to deal with the message. It's just something that you have to disclose with the person that you're replacing the screen for. So, mainly getting this top screw on was like probably the hardest. I had to use some tweezers to kind of pull it into position. And then uh, we'll stop, um, put the screws on on each corner and then just kind of work my way all around. The screw sizes do matter on this phone. I noticed the screws were different sizes. So if you disorganize the screws, you're going to have, have a really hard time putting it back together. And you might end up um, breaking the board in some way if you screw in a too big of a screw. We're going to pull the adhesive off here. We gave it a test already. I didn't show that, but I made a phone call and made sure touch worked. And, and I, when I pull the adhesive, I just make sure it's on. And then I put it all the way together and just snap it all the way around. Sometimes you got to clamp it, but uh, this adhesive, I won't need to. Get that P2 screwdriver out and screw in the last final screws on the bottom. And then you got it all done. And it's working. Beautiful. Worth it!